क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइन द टेन टर्म ऑफ द नंबर पैटर्न हुज जेनरल टर्म इज फाइव एन माइनस टू वी आर गिवन द जेनरल टर्म हियर सो वी कैन फाइन एनी टर्म बाय सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू फॉर एन हियर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइन द टेन टर्म देन वी हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट टेन फॉर एन हियर फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन माइनस टू फाइव इंटू टेन इज फिफ्टी देन फिफ्टी माइनस टू फोर्टी एट सो टेन टर्म ऑफ दिस नंबर पैटर्न इज फोर्टी एट देन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वी आर गिवन दिस टू सिंप्लीफाई टू बाइनरी नंबर्स द एडिशन ऑफ टू बाइनरी नंबर्स वन वन जीरो वन द बेस इज टू then 1 1 2 we have to add the two binary numbers uh when adding 1 uh, 1 we get 1 0 we have to keep 0 here and take 1 to the other side then 1 1 addition is 1 0 then keep 0 here and take 1 to the other side then here 0 1 1 1 0 0 keep here Then take one to the other side. One 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 zero. The base is two. So this will be the answer. One zero 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 zero. Then question number three. Find the value three over five of th uh, three over four. Um, we can use the multiplication instead of of. Of instead of instead of of we can use the multiplication sign here. Three over five multiplied by three over four. There are no common factors here. Uh, so three times three is nine. We have to multiply the two numerators and two denominators separately. Three times three nine. Five times four is twenty. Then question number four. We are given this to find the value. Find the value of x. The three angles, three interior angles of the triangle are given as x, two x, and six x. As the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is one hundred eighty, we can write the equation x plus two x plus Six x equal to one hundred eighty. What is the addition here? Um, the addition is nine x. So nine x equal to one hundred eighty. Then x equals one hundred eighty divided by nine. Twenty degrees. The value of x is twenty degrees. Then question number five. Expand and find the expand and simplify. X times x plus five plus three times x minus two. We have to remove the bracket first. Uh, x times x is x squared. Then x times plus five is plus five x. Plus three times x is plus three x. Then plus three times minus two is minus six. Now we can add these two like terms here. These two are like terms, so we can take the addition. X squared plus five three plus five x and plus three x. The addition is plus eight x. Then minus six. This is the final answer. Question number six. Join the expression in column A with the corresponding simplified expression in column B. In column A, we are given this expression: x plus seven times x minus two. Here we have to uh, multiply the second expression by each of the Terms in the first expression. So x times x is x squared. 
then uh, x times minus 2 is minus 2x then plus 7 times x is plus 7x then plus 7 times minus 2 is minus 14. Now we can add these two like terms x squared plus 2x and plus 7x the addition is plus 5x minus 14. Then question number 7. If x equals 3 and y equals minus half, find the value of the expression 5x minus 2y. We have to substitute the values for x and y, the given values for x and y here. Uh, 5 multiplied by 3. Then minus 2 multiplied by the value of y is minus half. I can use a bracket here. Then uh, 2 and 2 can be removed, uh, uh, cut off. 2 times 1 here, 2 times 1. Then 5 times 3 is 15. Then here minus 1 and here also minus 1. The multiplication is plus 1. Then what is the final answer now? Fifteen plus one is sixteen. Uh, then question number eight. Solve. We are given a simple equation. X minus two over 5 equal to 4. First we can multiply both sides by 5. Then here x minus 2 is remaining. Then 5 times 4 is 20. Now we can take this minus 2 to the other side by adding plus 2 to both sides. So x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 20 plus 2. Now, minus 2 and plus 2 can be cancelled here. x is remaining. x equal to 20 plus 2 is 22. This is the final answer. Question number 9. We are given to simplify. Plus 8 minus minus 2. We can convert this subtraction into addition. By taking the additive inverse of this second directed number. I can write this as plus 8 then plus. The subtraction becomes an addition. Then take the additive inverse of this second directed number. That is plus 2. The same magnitude with uh, opposite sign. Then plus 8 plus plus 2. Both are positive integers. So the addition is plus 10. Then question number 10. A vendor buys a chair for 5000 rupees. Due to a damage, he sells it for 4500 rupees. Determine the loss percentage. What is the loss here? The value of the loss is 500 rupees. So it comes for the numerator. Then for the denominator, uh, the buying price of the chair, that is 5000. Then to convert this to a percentage, we have to multiply by 100%. These two zeros can be cut off. Then uh, here, one zero can be cut off. 50 divided by 5 is 10. The loss percentage is 10%. Then question number 11. Find the area of the given triangle. The area of a triangle can be calculated by half into the length of the base into the perpendicular height. Uh, so half multiplied by 12 multiplied by the perpendicular height here is 5. 2 times 1, 2 times 6, 6 into 5 is 30. What is the unit here? The unit of area is square centimeters or square meters. 
Here the units are given in centimeters. So the unit is square centimeters. Question number 12. If 3 over 4 of a certain amount of money is 1500 rupees, find the total amount of money. I will take the total amount as x. Then x multiplied by 3 over 4. That is equal to 1500 rupees. We can find the value of x by uh, multiplying this 1500 by the reciprocal of this fraction. So x equal to 1500 multiplying by 4 over 3. 3 times 1, 3 times 500. 500 multiplying by 4 is 2000. So the answer is 2000 rupees. The total amount of money is 2000 rupees. Question number 13. AB is a straight line. P and Q are two points on it. If AQ equals PB, show that AB equal to QB. We are given AQ equal to PB. Then we can remove uh, PQ from both sides by using the axioms. AQ minus PQ equal to PB minus PQ. We can remove the same amount by both sides. This is according to axioms we learned. So AQ minus PQ is AP. AP equal to PB minus PQ is uh, QB. So this is the result that we are given to prove here. Question number 14. AB and CD are two straight lines. They are intersected at O. Find the value of X. Uh, there are a pair of vertically opposite angles formed here. So we can take X plus 65 degree. X plus 65 degrees equal to 130 degrees. X equals 130 minus 65. That is 65 degrees. Question number 15. Find the value of X. Uh, all the three angles X, X and 2X are located on a straight line. Located on one side of a straight line. So the sum of these three angles equal to 180 degrees. So we can write X plus X plus 2X. Equal to 180 degree. Here what is the addition? 4x. 4x equal to 180 degrees. Then x equal to 180 divided by 4. The value is 45 degrees. Question number 16. Write the suitable values for the blank cages. We are given this 1, 3 over 4. Then a division. Then we are given 2 blanks here. Equal to 1. Here, um, if a fraction is multiplied by the reciprocal of a fraction, we get the answer as 1. So, uh, if we convert this uh, mixed number into an improper fraction, we get one, 4 times 1, 4. 4 plus uh, 3 is 7. 7 over 4 here. So, 7 over 4 multiplied by 4 over 7 is equal to 1. So, here a division. When a division is converted to a multiplication, we take the reciprocal of the fraction here. So, here the blank should be uh, here uh, 7. 
seven over four. When we take when we when uh, this division is converted to a multiplication, we have to take the reciprocal. So it becomes four over seven here. Question number seventeen. Simplify. This is the expression given. Uh, plus eight multiplied by minus three divided by minus two. First, we have to simplify the numerator here. Plus eight multiplied by minus three. A positive integer with a negative integer. So it becomes negative. Then eight times three is twenty four. So minus twenty four is the numerator. Then divide by minus two. Uh, two negative integers. When a negative integer is divided by another negative integer, the answer gets positive. Twenty four divided by two is twelve. Plus twelve is the answer. Question number eighteen. Find the volume of the cuboid in cubic centimeters. The length is given as zero point five meters. Uh, we can convert it into me uh, centimeters as uh, we have to divide this uh, multiply this by hundred. Then it becomes fifty centimeters. The volume can be calculated by Length into breadth into height, fifty meters, fifty centimeters, multiplying by twenty centimeters, multiplying by ten centimeters. Five times two is ten. Uh, one two three. Another three zero should be written. Then ten thousand cubic. Centimeters is the volume of this cuboid. Question number nineteen. Find the value of x. A quadrilateral is given. Uh, the interior angle sum of a quadrilateral is three hundred sixty degrees. So we can write the equation by adding the uh, sum, uh, values of the four angles. X plus x is two x. Then plus seventy uh, plus sixty equal to three hundred sixty degrees. Two x plus one hundred thirty degree equal to three hundred sixty degrees. Two x equals three hundred sixty minus one hundred thirty. Uh, 230 degrees. Uh, to find the value of x, we have to divide this by two. 115 degrees is the answer. Then question number 20. A discount of 500 rupees is given on the marked price of. Twenty-five thousand rupees. Uh, when a certain electric fan is bought, find the discount percentage. The discount is five hundred rupees. Then the mark price of the electric fan is twenty-five thousand rupees. Then we can multiply this by hundred percent. We can uh, remove two zeros. Then uh, one zero, five times one, five times five, ten divided by five is two. Two percent is the discount. 